Hey folks, welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. My name is Kess and today you're going to be learning how to create this ink reveal logo animation in After Effects. This could also be a paint splatter animation. It all depends on what background you use. Before we get started here, I want you to download the assets in the description below. You can also find credits to these assets in the description as well. Once you've done that, go ahead and open up After Effects. As you can see here, I have dragged all my assets in here and I'm going to just start a new composition. We're going to go 1920 by 1080, 29.97 frames per second is fine. And I'm going to just make it five seconds long. Press OK. Okie dokie. So the first thing that we want to add is the background. I have two backgrounds here. I have one that is kind of like a canvas texture. That is what you would use if you're going for more of a paint effect. I also have this ancient looking paper here, which is what I'm going to use for the ink effect. I'm going to drag this onto the timeline here. And then I'm going to just hit S on my keyboard and then just scale it and position it into a place that I'm happy with. I'm also going to make some adjustments like adding curves to it. I might pump up um, the saturation as well. So get the background to a place where you like it. And once you are happy with that, you can go ahead and drag your logo onto the composition. Now I have this chicken logo, but obviously you can do this with any logo. I'm going to hit S on my keyboard and scale it down. And I'm going to position it on screen to where I want it to be. Once you're happy with that, you're going to go ahead and drag this stock video onto the timeline. With the layer selected, hit T on your keyboard to adjust the opacity. We're just going to bring it down so we can see the background underneath it. And then move your playhead across and you can see what the animation would look like. I think I'm going to go ahead and hit S and shrink this a little more. Yes, that's fine. That is how I would like it to animate. I'm going to bring the opacity back up to 100%. And then I'm going to search for Luma key in the effects and presets. And I'm going to apply it by double clicking the effect. Now I'm going to drag my playhead across here to where I can see the ink blot. And then I want to set it so that it keys out brighter because we are keying out the white part of the image. So we need to make some adjustments here. I'm going to adjust the threshold so that the edges are not as harsh. Maybe something like this. Then I'm going to feather out the edges a bit. The color doesn't really matter at this point. You just want to be happy with how the ink splatters out. Okay, cool. I am happy with this. Make sure your chicken logo is underneath the ink effect. And then you're going to under track mat, click alpha mat stock video. So now if you hit play, it should animate the logo on screen. Pretty cool, eh? Some other finishing touches we can add is I'm going to have the ink fade on screen. So it's a little more subtle. I'm going to start at the beginning here. I'm going to hit T on my keyboard to activate opacity. I'm going to make a keyframe here at 0%. I'm going to drag it across. And I'm going to make another keyframe at 100% so that it has a more subtle fade into it. Nice. We're almost done. One little finishing touch that I'm going to add is a little paper texture over top of the entire video to make the logo blend in a little better. I'm going to go back to my project file here and then take that background, the canvas background that I talked about before. I'm going to drag this on top just like that. And then I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply. And then if you hit T on your keyboard, you can adjust the opacity of it. You can decide how harsh you want to make it. Then as a finishing touch, I'm going to right click, go to new, 
and then create a null object because I want to add a small push in to this entire thing. I'm going to highlight all of the layers below the null and I'm going to link it to the null object. And then I'm going to hit S on my keyboard with the null selected. I'm going to make a keyframe here at 100% and then I'm going to go over here, make a keyframe at 105%. Just drag that to the end there. And then let's see how we're looking. Very nice, very nice. Just to give you a little peek of what it would look like with the canvas background, I'm going to select the background here and then click, hold down option and drag this on top to replace the background. So this is what it would look like with the canvas background. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to the You Want Pizzazz channel for more videos. We have a lot of awesome content here, so if you subscribe and you hit that notification bell, you know that you won't miss one single video. And that's what I want for you. I hope you have a fantastic day, folks, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!